Hi, yeah. I'm, I'm Laura Bishop. I'm the chair of the Ground Source Heat Pump Association in the UK. And I'm really pleased and excited to be bringing a new initiative to you today. It's our training academy and it's a brand new training stream on ground source heat pumps uh, that we're going to be rolling out later this year. I'm going to be talking about stream one today, which is ground source heat pumps for all engineers. It's one of four streams that we're developing and it's something that we really hope that people will sign up to and learn about ground source heat pumps from the experts in our association. So what's it all about? What is this training course all about and why do we need it? So in the GSHPA, the Ground Source Heat Pump Association, we recognise that there's a lack of access to help and advice and good design practice and information on ground source heat pump systems. We know they're quite complex systems, um, but if we are going to hit our uh, net zero targets, uh, which I'll talk about in a second, we know that ground source is going to be a big component of that. So what we would like to do is to impart some of the information that we've got within the council. We know that rules of thumb are used across the industry and we know that they're not accurate. So although they're fine to be used in the very, very early stages of a project, uh, when you might just be looking sort of a look-see at how, how that might work, if you're going to go any further th than that, we know that rules of thumb are, are not to be used um, or will not lead to uh, good, well-designed projects. But who do you speak to about that? Um, we find that people don't actually know who to speak to. It's a bit confusing. So um, what we've done is we've developed a whole training course to address all of those above points. Um, we're also delivering and developing another two or three um, courses along these lines, streams two and three, and potentially for number four, whereas number two is for, for installers. So this particular one is for, um, for engineers. Um, this is not a ground loop design course, uh, but it does help to promote effective communication with the experts in their fields. So this might lead you on to think, I do want to go ahead and do a ground loop design course, which would be great. Or it might make you think, actually, I don't want to do that. Uh, and I will continue to work with the experts. And following the course, you'll find out who those experts are, who to speak to and what sort of things to ask. So what's the technology? Um, heat pumps, most people have heard about heat pumps nowadays. Our focus for this training is very much going to be on ground source heat pump systems. Uh, we're going to be looking at the types of systems that are available to you, the energy sources and resources we can use and the applications for heat pumps. We're going to be looking at things like um, commercial and domestic installations, mixed use developments, retrofit and new build. We're going to be looking at ground source, which would be either vertical boreholes or horizontal collectors. We're going to be looking at lake source, river source, open water, closed water systems. And we might do some um, uh, more specialist applications as well, such as mine water and waste water. So those are the sort of things that we're going to uh, cover in this course. And I'll cover the actual um, course content later on. Who is this course aimed at? Um, it's aimed actually at anybody who might be involved or interested in net zero strategies and planning, maybe decarbonisation plans for sets of buildings. It's also aimed at architects and consultant engineers who are involved in projects very early on in the process and might need to know more information about how ground source could work in their projects. It's also for contractors, facilities and energy managers in buildings and also for students who might be thinking, I want to get into this industry, what do I need to know, how do I do that? Um, but generally, if you're watching this and you're generally interested in Ground Source, then you are more than welcome to join in with the, with the training as well. So why would you want to get involved? The main thing is about net zero. So we have in the UK legal requirements to be at net zero by 2050. We believe that ground source heat pumps represent a massive opportunity to achieve the targets. And why? Because in the UK, heat represents uh, the majority of our carbon emissions. It's 32% of all our carbon emissions comes from heating, heating our homes, heating our businesses. So by using a ground source heat pump, you can seriously make indents into those, uh, those carbon emissions. It's definitely a growth sector. Uh, about a year ago, in November um, 2020, Boris Johnson talked about the 10-point plan 
and he talked about the Green Industrial Revolution. And point six was all around heat pumps. So since that time, we have seen massive interest in, in heat pumps. Um, they're in the papers, they're on the news most days. Uh, we're looking at electrification of heat and what that means um, so we're definitely seeing more interest and we're seeing more heat pumps being installed as a result of that. But what we do know is that 80% of ground source projects are discounted at feasibility stage. And that's mainly due to either poor understanding or poor application of rules of thumb, which means that ground source heat pumps look too complicated, they look too expensive, they're just uh, not something that people understand well enough, so people tend to shy away. So we're doing, going to try and break through those, those barriers there. This is a great opportunity to meet people in the industry who are experts in their fields. We're so lucky at the Ground Source Heat Pump Association. We have some amazingly um, qualified and experienced people, especially on our council, who are going to be giving up their time to, to um, train people in what they've been doing for many years. And it's a great opportunity to ask any questions in a supportive environment. And how are we going to do it? So we are going to do it in bite-sized chunks. So no more than 25 to 30 minutes each, each, um, each article or each, each um, module that we're going to do. They're going to be pre-recorded on the whole, but we will also have regular live Q&A that you can tune into. You will access the training by a secure login and it will be available via the GSHPA website. So it will be a, 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 you'll have to register for the training. There will be a fee. Um, and you will get, then get a secure login, which enables you to access all the training material and those regular live Q&As. So the topics we're going to cover, this is 16 module process, including the systems approach, so ground source heat pump systems overall, a good introduction. We're going to look at the building side, building demands and matching that to what energy resource and source that you've got available. We're going to look at geology and the impact on, on ground collectors. We're going to look at the ground loop itself, which is the, the, um, the boreholes or the horizontal collector or the lake collector that you're going to be using. There'll be a demonstration of the design software that, that we use. There's going to be sections on system hydraulics, which is the piping and pumping of systems. L a look at heat pumps themselves, including the different technologies available. System efficiencies and what affects them and how you can make sure that you're maximising those efficiencies. How heat pumps can be combined with other technologies such as solar thermal or um, gas boiler backup or air source and ground source, all sorts of different hybrid uh, technologies. We're going to look at how to size the heat pump and how to get that done optimally. How you connect in a building to a heat pump. So it's, this is especially important in a retrofit situation where you might be using um, low temperature radiators, uh, high temperature radiators with a low temperature heat pump. Combining heating and cooling systems, that's going to become ever more prevalent in a, in a warming environment. The controls of such systems, how to interface with the supply chain, which includes drillers and contractors on site. The commissioning and handover of heat pump systems. And finally, we're going to look at some really good case studies, some references of um, um, different systems that have been installed and are operating by uh, the people that we're going to be hearing from. So our speakers for this event, the main person that's going to be hosting is Chris Davidson, and I'm just going to let him introduce himself now. Thank you, Laura. It'll be a great pleasure to host these sessions on behalf of the Ground Source Heat Pump Association. I've been in Ground Source Heat Pumps for 20 years now, and I've made a lot of mistakes along the way, which I hope these sessions will help you avoid. Thanks, Chris. So our other speakers during the period or during, during the course will be Dr. Robin Curtis, John Finlay, Robert Hill and myself. Uh, we, between us, we have over 100 years experience in designing some of the world's best ground source heat pump systems. So it will be a really excellent training course uh, for anybody thinking about joining. Hi there, my name is Richard Davis and I work with Chris Davidson at Genius Energy Lab and I'll be involved with pulling all of this material together to make sure you have an outstanding learning experience. So what do you need to do next? Well, the launch is planned for the end of this year and details on how to register will be in the description for this video and also can be found via the Ground Source Heat Pump Association website, which is www.gshp.org.uk. 
We'd encourage you to follow us on all of our different social media channels, especially LinkedIn and YouTube. We're super excited to train you. We hope you register today and we look forward to seeing you soon and helping you ensure that your ground source heat pump systems are installed absolutely perfectly.